All right, I've already got PowerShell installed on this particular server, but just in case you don't, let's let's go over again what steps you need to take in order to install it. You remember your server manager utility, so you're going to open that up. And inside your server manager here, you've got sections on roles, features, etc. Now this is going to be under features. It's under features that you want to look and you're going to see here this the add feature capability so I click on add features and uh, scroll down and it's in the list under Windows PowerShell I've already had I already have it installed so it's grayed out and uh, but just in case you need to install it that's where you have to go to do this all right now let's have a look under Windows PowerShell I'm now going to have the utility and the first thing you might want to do when you come in here is get some help. And so to do that, you type get hyphen help. Now I might want to slow that down a little, that, that scrolled by kind of quickly. So I'm going to type get help and then pipe and the word more. So what this command does is it says if there's more than fits on the screen, then give me a nice simple way to view it one screen at a time and you can see here once I've done that it tells me to hit the space bar and it will go page by page or hit carriage return and it will go line by line through that document or I can push Q and quit right out of that particular help document now that getting of help was Kind of useful if I want to understand the basics of getting help, but get help also allows you to get specific help about other commands. So for instance, the get event log command. I type in get help, get event log, uh, more, type it to more because I don't want it to scroll too quickly, and this will give me help about the get event log command. So here I see it gives me a synopsis of what the get event log command does, how it runs, and I can page through this particular set of uh, directions. Okay, now I'm going to hit the up arrow, and that brings back my last command. And we're going to take a closer look at this, because as it turns out, there's even more help I can get about the get event log command. This one screen or two that I just showed you is, a, is basically a, an introductory set of information about the get event log command, but there's actually more to it. So watch how I can get additional information about get event log by right after the command that I want information about, I'm going to put another switch called full. All right, so get help is what I'm typing on the get event log command I would like the full information and if there's more than fits on my screen please allow me to page through it with the space bar okay now I hit enter and here we see again the get event log and synopsis and basic syntax and details but as you go further now you'll see when I hit the space bar there's quite a bit more information about how to use this command so uh, we're not going to go through how to do this command, how to, how to get to the, all the finer details of it, but this is really just so you can understand that the get help has this feature called full, which allows you to see the complete document about a particular command.